Join us every week for coaching and Q&A. You'll learn how to get more listings signed and sold following the simple and fun easy listing method. Plus, find hidden gem tips and get motivated as you surround yourself with like-minded peers in this weekly mastermind. Let's jump in. If people haven't gotten trained how to use this platform, they are not going to make it work. So I went ahead and listed a property. And all the things that I train you guys to do, I went ahead and did. So this is a home that we did, not last weekend, but the weekend before. The objective was to get 100 people in there. So we got 103 people at the open house, plus another 24 agents showed the home. Mm -hmm. We listed it on Thursday, and I was in contract on Tuesday. We had an amazing open house. It was just incredible, and it's for a property here in Washington. And it was spectacular. I felt like I was back in the restaurant business with a hundred people before me at one time. It, it's not happening right now in this industry and it blew me away. Firstly, we obviously had comped the house out and picked the magic number of where to price the home. We only did one open house and I only did it for three hours. We had realtors going in and out because we put it on on Thursday. There were a lot of showings with realtors taking them in. Saturday was our open house. And I started getting the hordes of people. The energy was just so incredible. Every single person I talked to, there was not one person that didn't know about the lawsuits. And these are just people without realtors coming through. Well, our industry has a couple challenges right now. And they'd all smile and laugh. And they'd say, yes. And I said, the seller has chosen to use the easy platform because of the transparency. You know, you will not have to guess what they're going to offer. You're going to see it right in front of your face. And with your little finger, you're going to get to decide what that house is worth to you. So mm -hmm. how about the highest and best? You're not dealing with that. You're not worrying about that. All you're going to do is figure out your highest and best. When it's worth it to you, if, that's it. You won't be going back and forth with contracts. Your realtor will write up one single contract if you get the home. I have never had no pushback at all. And the real pushbacks were from realtors before. And now, oh, this is great. Now, again, to the day I was there, there were no realtors. It was just all people coming by themselves. They all would say, I love this. I love this. All of them. And then the next thing they'd say is, do you think that this is going to be the way it goes from now on? So I said, well, I hope so. <laughs> I did print flyers for the inside of the home for people to take. And on the back side, it was the how to uh, make the offer. And everyone took them. The energy was, if I could have bottled it, it went on for the full three. And it wound up being three and a half hours because people were still there. I couldn't close the doors at three. The positivity and everyone embraced it. No one pushed back, nobody. So it was remarkable and it was fun and it blew the roof off. I was shocked at how every single person embraced it. If you do it the way it's supposed to be done and I wasn't shying away from anything. There was nothing to shy away from because this does represent everybody. If someone doesn't want to pay it, then don't buy the house. There's nothing hidden. There's no hidden agendas. And it's a massive selling point, the transparency. Undoubtedly, it is going to be the buyers saying what that house is worth. The number one issue is making sure that they price the home properly. When that happens, it becomes like a tornado funnel effect. It really starts whipping. And then it just comes down to that open house where they're all there and it's that wonderful energy. I show homes to buyers and literally these houses are on for 180, 200 days. So, and they're gorgeous homes and they're in, they're in a higher bracket, but they're on before it wasn't happening. Houses weren't sitting and they are sitting now. So I wanted to do a short one because I didn't know how much traffic I had and I wanted them to all squeeze into one time zone, but it worked out very well. I forgot the euphoria and I thought back on the one gentleman, we have his video 
and he was just videoing all the people coming into his LA listing. It's just such a wonderful energy. And he captured that with his cell phone video. And it's real. I guess you just can't get it till you actually experience it with, with one of your homes. And that's what I did. Nice. Impressive, for sure. <laughs> like I say, you, you guys, this is a beautiful home that you're looking at right here. But if, if we do a walkthrough video with every one of our homes, the very first time we've had to edit a video five different times because of the condition of the property. This property wasn't perfect, a lot of imperfections, and there were better homes on the market at the time. But this platform, by allowing the transparency to hit, I mean, Thursday, and we're in contract on Tuesday. So it goes to show you, if you guys come into the formal training and you learn how to do the processes, you learn where the, you know, how to market it, you learn these tools. Here, I'll show you something else. Too. I said that you guys do the two hours um, bidding and the seller gets to watch all that happen. That's kind of cool. And the buyers, mm -hmm. the buyers agents. I mean, everybody can watch it. Melanie, what market are you in? So I'm in uh, Greater Tampa. Yeah. Ah, we have a home in Apollo yeah. Beach. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of people that are calling because I do like a lot of distressed off market things. They're flooded out, and I'm looking for a way for people to come in and possibly use this platform, right, to create some buzz for these properties because otherwise they're just going to sit or be severely underbid on. I mean, I just don't know. Um, this is interesting. When we first started, the resistance came, well, my buyer is not going to pay the commission. But by lowering the price down 6 to 15% below, the seller's taking that into consideration. And when you know how to explain how the process works, agents are more into it than ever. So the, this event that I do training on, by no means was it my best offer event that I've ever done in my life. But they're allowing me to use a closing statement and they're allowing me to use the MLS detail sheet all parties signed off for training purposes. My listing presentation is always wrapped around this one house right here. Okay, a little house in Enumclaw, Washington, and it's uh, 40 miles southeast of Seattle. It's by nowhere near Seattle. I wouldn't live in Enumclaw to save my life. To get to the closest thing takes about 30 <laughs> minutes, but there are a lot of people out there because it's got property with it, and it's a cute little home. So the first thing I do is, is I have all this stuff open on my listing presentation, okay? Next thing I do is I come into this program. So when I go do a listing presentation, I get the traditional stuff out of the way because you can take it and do it, list it traditionally, or you can use the easy method, right? So one of the things I want you guys to understand is you don't have to put a home on the portal. The biggest thing is by offering the 0% commission, mm -hmm. is that going to get you every listing presentation? I'd say most. Maybe. I haven't had anybody to say no to me. What do you mean? I don't nope. Sounds sexy to the owner. That's for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. So, you Especially you're in California. Right. Well, no. Tampa, so you're saying you're in Seattle, you're the same. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, well, California, that's huge. We market it and we use it to get the listing appointment. Mm -hmm. I have two listings right now. I went into home and I did the pres presentations the same exact way. One of the homes, you can see here, I got one um, pending. Okay. That's our home that we just, that went on on Thursday. It was in contract on Tuesday. And then I mm -hmm. have one home that's still active. So you see the price, 990. Let's go into the actual sheet. We started at a million ninety five thousand. This is three of the two eighty use plus the living quarters down there. The kids were putting it on Airbnb and they were picking up fifty seven hundred dollars a month in income average on there. I went through the listing presentation and their father, who didn't listen to the listing presentation, advised them not to use the easy platform. 
you see how many days this is on the market? Hmm. The kids called me two weeks ago and said, hey, Robert, wow. uh, can we put this on the easy platform? We were obviously wrong, and my father was wrong about the way that we are doing this. Because in this market, you're either chasing prices down or you're chasing them up. Now, these right. kids started at 1095 990 Somebody's going to come in and probably make an offer for 900 and ask for concessions on top of it. Why in this market would you want to chase prices down? Wouldn't it be better to have 100 people show up at an open house and let the market decide what the home's worth? Yep. So they called me up, and the answer is, just in case you guys ever get this, no. You can't lower the price and say the buyers are going to pay the commission because it looks like a bait and switch. Mm -hmm. Okay. On it. But so my point is, is I, if they don't want to play ball, it, my wife, these kids love my wife. We sold them this home. I wouldn't have taken this listing. I, it's one of them that I would have walked away from. Because now you can't, you can't lower the price now. And because no, it needs to go off the MLS and clear and, you know, for six months and then we can put it back on and do it again. But it's my, my point in showing you this is, Go and get the listing. I don't care mm -hmm. whether you put it on a platform or not. This is a marketing tool that will get you a listing appointment with every single seller there is. Yeah. yeah. So whether you put it on the, the site or not, whether you don't. So here I am in the listing presentation. I've got this home pulled up with these other th three things open. We've already agreed. So basically I met this guy in a Starbucks. I actually had a sign that I used to sit on a chair next to me. I used to go in Starbucks at six in the morning every day up in uh, Seattle. And I'd put this little goofy sign on the seat next to me. They were facing out. And basically what it said, I'll sell your home for a 0% commission. Every day that I took that sign in there and put it out, I got into conversations with sellers, title companies, other real estate agents, bankers. It always sparked a conversation. So in this case here, this guy that was talking to another agent. And so, and I've got my little sign going to both the agent are looking at like, what the hell? And so anyway, the agent keeps talking, the agent keeps talking, and finally the agent leaves. The guy gets up and come over to me. He goes, well, that guy just told me that I was going to pay like twenty four, twenty five thousand dollars $25,000 in commission. And your little sign here says that you won't charge me a commission. He goes, how is that? I don't believe it. And I said, well, tell you what, I've been doing this for five years. I've done 50 to 75 of these in the Seattle area. Give me 20 to 30 minutes at your home and let me show you from A to Z what we do. And he's still looking at me. Do you guys know who Dave Ramsey is? He's that financial counselor guru. Yep. Like, don't. Hey, don't use credit cards. Don't finance cars. Get your home paid off as fast as you can. Get out of debt and make sure the money is yours. This guy works for Dave Ramsey as a, a counselor. So he looked at the sign. And he goes, well, I don't believe it. I think it's a gimmick. But yeah, you know, if, 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 if this thing is even somewhat true, I'll give you the 20, 30 minutes. So we got an agreement. In the meantime, I had said, what? Yeah, you know, was this first real estate agent you talked to? He goes, no, it's the ninth. You're going to be the tenth. And he goes, I was going to go with this guy in Starbucks, but I saw your sign, so I said I'd be back to him in a couple of days. So my wife and I went over to the house. We did a walkthrough with him around the house, and the walkthroughs. The only reason why I do them is my wife's giving staging advice, and the second thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find some common ground with them. So this home, believe it or not, had like tractors and cars and trash all over the yard. So my wife said, get rid of the stuff. They paint the front of the house, redo the deck, get rid of the garbage. And he goes, well, you know, it's really funny. The other real estate agent was just here, basically said the same thing. And he said, if I did all that stuff, that I'd be able to get $400,000 for the home. And he, he thought that that was on the high side. The other eight realtors that I had met said anywhere from 350 to 375. And remember, you guys, that's running it traditional, right? Mm -hmm. Which means, so what I do is I always do six net sheets when I go to an interview. I'm doing three for the traditional side, 
three, four, the easy method side. I already knew that he was going to settle on $400,000 with the other real estate agent. So I only took the one net sheet in and showed it to him. So here's $400,000 after commissions, after, um, you know, your closing costs, excise tax. He was going to net somewhere about three forty-five. dollars with all of it. Okay. So that was what he was going to net out of the property. And he was going to give it to that last agent. Now we go into the easy method. Alan, this is what you wanted to find out. And what I'm going to do is take you through a selling event that was just like you. This is a guy I met in Starbucks. This story is wrapped around probably 10 different listings. So wherever the person's from that I'm going to meet, I'm going to say that it's the same thing as a seller. So if it came off of my farming yeah you know this is a guy that was just like you skeptic but it came off the farming that we did off the postcard off the facebook ad, whatever it is i'm going to tie the two together so they think that they have commonality and so we've already agreed and and, and i'll go through them we've already agreed four hundred thousand dollars that if we were listed because we can do traditional too and we were going to list it at 400s on the top of the scale and this you would net somewhere between 350 340 and 350 Yes, we agree to that. Okay, so now let's talk about the easy method. What we want to do is we want to lower the home to a price. My objective by lowering them because you're not paying the commission. So if we give that discount, we put in the MLS with that, you know, six to 15% discount. My objective is to find a price that's going to attract 100 buyers to your home. If I get 100 buyers to your home, what do you think that does for you? He goes, well, I'd probably get more offers, okay? To get more offers, more money, right? So before I even get down into the bottom part, it's, I get an agreement with him that my job is to make him the most amount of money that he can make. And I don't move on until I, yes, that's your job. More amount, More money in my pocket, the better you are. All right. So now I start going through this price here. So as we talked about prices with this guy here, we had come up with $370,000 listing price. That was 10% below market value. Remember it was 400 was the market value minus the 4360 or 370. So I'm somewhere between six and 12% discount, right? And I felt like in my heart that that was going to get me a hundred people into the house. So we started off at 370 and then now I'm showing them, now this is what happened to the seller. So when I'm talking to buyers and I'm talking to buyer's agent, part of the thing is I'll always ask them, hey, do you kind of want to scam the system? Do you want get to get your offer accepted? Don't come in at 370. Come in at a higher bid because my seller is watching this event 24-7. He can call and tell me, take it, pull it, I want it. And the home is yours without going through the, the process. So we listed it at 370. We had 113 people come through the open house, plus another 50 showings from real estate agents. When you have 100 people come to an open house, what is the biggest benefit to the seller? Bidding war. Mm -hmm. Bidding war and no concession. No concession, mm -hmm. yeah. So, and in this last case that we just did, he waived the uh, inspection. He waived everything to get this house, right? Hmm. So, so now we know we're in this here. So first bid that comes 370, the first bid that comes in $40,000 higher. What do you think the seller did? He accepted. Well, he told me to accept it. And I said, Alan? <laughs> Let's wait. You trust me, right? <laughs> Hey, that's I awesome. The house. I have right. 11 people. I always have my lender inside the open house with us. Mm -hmm. 11 of those got pre qualified. Mm -hmm. Starlene here was a, she's a, a rematch agent. She made the offer before she ever walked out of the house. As fast as she made that thing, I, it's like, hey, starting, I'm sorry, I gotta, I'll be right back. I gotta go take this phone call. And it's, it's sure enough, it's Alan. Take that offer. Robert, I mean, it's already $50,000 higher than I was going to get a 400000 doing it traditional. And it, Alan, <laughs> calm down. I got 113 people here. Mm -hmm. They're all 
looking through the home. We got a lot of great dialogue going. Trust me. Don't you trust me, right? Yeah, 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 bro. I trust you. But if I lose that four hundred ten thousand dollars, I'm gonna come looking for you. And I'm going, yeah, whatever. Okay. <laughs> so, anyways, now we go on, and now we're at Sunday. Here we go. We got four eleven. What does he do? Calls me up. Oh my God, this is like unbelievable. And look at this: a four twelve, four thirteen, four fourteen five, four twenty two. So now we're on the day that it's ending now on wow. the on the Monday. And Starlene comes in, she makes 422. Robert, take that thing. Blah, 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 blah. Alan, we got another hour. Let it roll. Just let it go. And I, yeah, at that point, I was going to be with them at five uh 445 because I wanted to watch the last 15 minutes with them that I was going. So Aaron hold us. So the reason why I bring her, this is the only cash offer that we had. Out of all these people. Now, the beautiful thing that Charlene did, uh, you know, is the 410. So, because we were left with only seven people being able to make offers, she wiped out half the field by running it up to 410. Because remember, what's missing off of this 410 offer? Say it again, what's missing after the 410? Yeah, what's missing off of this 410 offer that's on here? The six percent buyer's premium, right? Oh, got gotcha. you. So now we get back up to Aaron. Hold us right here. So here, you tell Al, calm down, relax. Just let it. Let's let's let this thing roll up. Let's see where we end up. Uh, her and uh, Charlene were going back and forth. Uh, well, there's actually three of them. Okay. Wow. Uh. I wanted to get to the second Aaron. All right. So here's her second. Now, why am I bringing up this? Aaron Holdus told her buyer, she goes, well, I'm going to scam the system. I'm going to make a, an offer with four, you know, we ended at five, at 4.59 and 55 seconds, I'm going to throw in this offer and nobody's going to have enough time to make another offer. <laughs> she told her buyer that because the buyer called us. The buyer called us like, she, she called up while the thing was going on. Hey, it extended it. What are you guys doing? And it in the, the addendum and everything. Don't wait till the last minute to make offers. But so, anyways, so here we are. More bids, more bids, more bids, more bids, more bids, more bids, more bids. So we ended up at four hundred and fifty-one thousand five hundred dollars. Okay. So wow. and again, what's this missing? Buyer's premium. Buyer's premium. So once the offer event's done, did the seller have to take this offer? No. Mm. He could have gone back and taken Aaron's cash offer, right? Right. Because he has the right to accept, reject, or negotiate any offer that comes in. That's what separates us from an auction. But in this case, he took mm. Charlene's offer. He felt she stuck in there. She hung in there. And, you know, he loved the fact that she was obviously the buyer wanted it and loved this home. So now we go through it. So we're missing the buyer's premium. Now the bidding event's done. The seller has chosen the buyer. Call up Starlene. Say, Starlene, sellers accepted your, your offer. Now the bidding platform is out of everything. Now Starlene's got 24 hours to execute the purchase sale agreement with her because right now that it's all agreed to right mm -hmm. so we go to the purchase sale agreement and this is a real working purchase sale agreement in seattle looks familiar to you guys right and look at the price can you make it bigger oh wow oh, yeah. 470 is that it's, what it says there we go thank oh, you wow. hey, yeah, yeah 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 you know old people's eyes over here thank you <laughs> <laughs> so, four seventy eight five ninety. We had a six percent buyer's premium. Remember that gets added on to the price, right? What were the comps? Uh, the highest traditional was going to be four hundred thousand bucks. Wow. Yeah, and look what we did. And and here's the other cool thing is this guy did not want to be because the guy that was there before us said, well. I'm going to do an open house every weekend, every Saturday and Sunday until we're in contract. 
And so we did one open house on Saturday. They were disrupted for one day, and that was it. Yeah. And and then, nice. you so know, from here on now, it's a, just a normal real estate transaction, you guys. Mm. The site did its job, and it's just a normal real estate transaction. Okay, so the follow-up tip is that you put the young lady's video on the MLS so that the buyer, I mean, I'm sorry, so that the buyer, yeah, the agent understands the bidding platform and the 6%. Um, you have so many tools to put on here. We've got our how-to document. And what we do with that, we have a how-to for the agents. We also have a how-to for the uh, buyers. Thank you for your interest in this easy real estate offer listing. We wanted to share a few quick notes and details about this listing and the easy bidding platform process. First, please be sure you've read the MLS sheet details and those agent remarks. This is an online bidding event. It's not an auction, but it is a 100% transparent opportunity for your buyer to be competitive in winning this home. Your buyer no longer has to lose to a highest and best scenario. They can see what it will take right now to win this property. Also, as shared in the listing, this property's list price is below market value, a starting price for the bidding event. All you have to do is fill out the easy and short term sheet, which will take you about 60 seconds. It's a highlight sheet of your buyer's offer terms, so you don't even have to complete or submit a fully drafted offer until your bid is accepted. In the MLS, you'll see that we're offering a full commission. How many times do you look at properties listed now where you're being offered much less? We value your representation for your buyer, so please pay attention to those agent remarks as well. With an acceptable offer, the seller has agreed to pay you an extra 1% commission, so you'll receive that additionally, or that additional commission could even be used alternately toward buyer's closing costs or reduced interest rate buy-down. Our goal is to create a win-win-win. Please also review the attached easy addendum that shares that the seller has the right to accept, reject, or counter a bid at any time, and it shares the buyer's premium detail. If you have any questions, please reach out to the listing agent here directly, and again, thank you for your interest in this easy listing, and good luck. So here's one, how to make a, and remember Mona said that she had put this on the back side of her flyer? Okay. So that's... That's the one. Right. We put it in the supplements. We put it on the easy side. We put it everywhere that we can go. Uh, we don't leave anything to choice on there. And then this is the one for the real estate agents. So if they understand what happened, the, po the policies that happened with the site, and this is the one for buyers right here. We post both of those onto the MLS site. We have an offer detail sheet. I do not use this. I call a lot of the agents, put this in the, the MLS supplements. And then when somebody's going to make an art, they kind of just fill out and, and fill this out so that they have an idea of what the financing is and the cash and yada, yada, yada. Now, why do you suppose I don't use this? The answer is because I want to talk to the agents and I want them to get to know me because I am going to recruit them. And mm -hmm. the other thing is, is I want testimonials and I'm very clear about that. I prefer to talk to them about their buyer's details. My training is to get you to make your own story. Because when you see what this does for your seller, you see what it does for the buyers, you see what it does for the buyer's agents. Because remember now, we're paying buyer's agents and we're giving a full commission. We're not giving them 3000 bucks. That's the second time I've heard you say that. We're paying buyer's agents. Right. Yeah. You know, let's go into the... Because uh, I was going to wait until you finish to kind of address that. Mm -hmm. I want to... Here we go. So here's the contract that we have for the that home in um, Seattle. The one that was went on, yada, 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 yada. So the buyer's premium on this one was five. Two and a half goes to the listing office. Two and a half goes to the selling office. Starts at seven ninety nine. Starts at you know August fifteenth and or ends on August fifteenth. And we put it on that Thursday at five o'clock. Everybody has to sign this before they can make a, an offer on the property. Okay, so basically you're saying 
the money that they include in the buyer's premium basically is what the it's using to compensate the real estate agents. Okay. Okay. So one of the things that we changed from, and I'm not going to go into all this stuff here because it's going to get you out of whack on it. But now with the sellers have three choices. This is option two is running it traditional where the seller is paying both sides of the uh, commissions to, to the listing agent, also to the buying agent. And option number three is a seller says, I'll pay the listing agent. I'm not paying the buyer's agent squat. So you would use this one. And the cool mm -hmm. thing about it is we're still using a buyer's premium down here, but only for the buyer's side. And that's for the, the buying agent to go renegotiate with his buyers because people don't have to come out of pocket with cash to cover the commission. We're building it into the price of the home. Mm -hmm. We're not financing it. We're building it into the price of the home, right? Mm -hmm. Just like if I need a closing cost in the old days, what did I do? Have a, an offer for a home sale for four thirty five, and I want my buyers to get a $5,000 buyer premium. Market's hot. Yada, yada, yada. I'm going to raise the price to cover that, that, that concession, right? Mm-hmm. So we're doing the same thing here with the commissions. Okay. So two things I always say to newer agents. Here's what I don't want to hear from you ever. I don't want to hear from you that, well, I did an open house and I was overwhelmed. <laughs> and then the second thing is <laughs> your site doesn't work because the site does work. And we just proved to get into ourselves. If you follow the steps and the process, and again, the sellers that don't want to buy and play the game, get listen traditionally for them. So new agents, this is a great way for you guys to attract it, make a little extra money. But the biggest thing is with this new NAR stuff is we have the answer to all of it to make sure our fellow buyer agents are getting paid. Mm -hmm. Or I do an open house. If he would have been saying, you know, I have a 0% platform where you can go out and advertise and tell your sellers that you won't charge them a commission, I'd be rich. There'd be no doubt in my mind, I'd be rich. So anyways, <laughs> it's a lot of information, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Melanie? Do you like it or am I confusing you? No, it sounds interesting. No, I don't think it's confusing at all. It just sounds like, you know, standard MLS stuff. And then this is where people are going to send their offers to. And you can see it in real time. I think it's pretty genius. And because I started in the investment side of real estate, for me, this is something I can wholeheartedly relate to that Bruce Hill recommended me over to you guys. Oh, Bruce did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm with well, him on the probate mastery stuff. His, so. his probate course is all about getting listings. Yeah. Guess yep. what? When you can do the probate stuff and offer a 0% listing, it might be easier than what everything else, everybody yep. else is doing. So. It's huge. It's huge. And now down here too, we have all these homes that are flooded, right? The two hurricanes. Yeah. And honestly, it's such a great, I haven't, I have a, a meeting here about two hours with the client. I haven't uh, met face to face with yet and we can offer him this, right? So he's so worried that he's going to be lowballed, you know, so this might alleviate some of his anxiety. You know, I think it's a great Anytime tool. you can let the consumers decide yeah. what the market price is, you're in a much better position than yeah. as reading papers. It really is, you know, so I'm excited to see more, um, you know, I haven't got so much into it in terms of costs in it. So maybe we could have a phone call or, or whatever that would take. Um, but uh, I'm interested I mean, to learn. Do you have my phone number? I don't think so. I'm going to put it in the chat, you guys. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's great. Phone number. At, well, in her scenario, uh, because she stated that she had a lot of investors and if she mm -hmm. had put it on MLS, mm -hmm. um, you kind of didn't kind of answer it, but kind of not. Right, <laughs> right. Oh, so is this like the best platform for that exposure for an investor? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Anytime, because we're one hundred percent transparent, mm -hmm. it's a platform for anything out there. Okay, it works with everything. So I there was what did you say? There's what? Anytime that you, because it's transparent. Uh -huh. It works with any type of real estate sales at all. And, you know, the cool thing is when you have 10 people that are making offers, there is that 
you know, that FOMO, the fear of missing mm-hmm. out syndrome kicks in. Mm-hmm. And it always comes down to somebody, I'm going to get this house. I don't care what it takes. Right. So we're letting yeah. consumers yeah. decide what the price is, not, you know, not a CMA. Yeah. Especially with our scenario here. Great for um... my wife is going to say hi to you. She's here. Hi. Hi. Cameron, how are you? Hi. How are you? Good. I, you know, after all of his explanation and everything, it's all fresh. So it's, it probably is like a kind of a overwhelming circle. Sure. But <laughs> to break down the open house, because truthfully, uh, we, we have only been working on our site and everything else. We haven't been listing. We've been giving our listings to other people in our office, blah, blah, okay. blah. So to make a long story short, I didn't bring anybody with me to that open house. Mm. I didn't know what to expect. What happened? Everything in Seattle is sitting. Yeah. They're sit- it's sitting for, you know, mm-hmm. some of these gorgeous houses are 200 to 300 days taken off. In our, the neighborhood we were in, they were sitting. So I thought if I get 10 people, because my other open house, I got zero. And that property mm-hmm. is a money maker. It's super close to the city. It's super close to the airport. It's got it, it 5,600 or 50. So, it was really 5,700 a month and she wasn't working it because they both leave town and they were doing Airbnb. So they sure. were working it hard. But, Mm -hmm. you know, that's on just sitting there. I did two open houses. I got the neighbors and one lady that was going to another house that was a lot less and wound up walking into mine. So on this house, I didn't know what to expect. And so here they come in droves. (laughs) I'm standing there and I just have this smile on my face. And I welcomed every single person and, you know, they'd all come up to me. And it's like, oh, that it's really low. I said, yeah, we marked it um, 10% under market value because of the 5% buyer's premium. Oh, that's all they said to me. So I'd say, you know, you might have heard that our industry is having a couple issues right now. And they all went, yes, yes, we know. And I say, so... This is about transparency. All the seller wanted was everything above so that it was completely and totally transparent. And I said, how would you like to go on and see what every one of these people are are going to offer? What? What do you mean? Yeah, you're going to go right on and see every offer live. And how would you like to have it in your in your finger pressing a button? The house is only worth what it's worth to you. Right. Because we know it's at market value, it's below it. But a home is only worth what a buyer says it's worth. They're all like, oh my God, do you think this is the way it's going to go now for all of real estate? Will it all be this transparent? So I don't talk, I don't talk about the 5%. The only Mm -hmm. way I talk about it is to tell them in the very beginning, it's 10% under market value because we compensated for the 5% buyer premium. We never talked about a commission ever again. All we talked about was transparency. And that's all this is. Mm-hmm. Transparent, yeah. transparent, transparent. Yep. Um, Which is so needed now. Because yeah. of NAR, it's so needed. People are really, really leery. And, and this is, know, I think it's that's wonderful. All I said. That's all I said. Well, I just thought, you know what? I'm just going to hit the elephant in the room, which is that the industry is up, has in deep doo doo right now. Mm hmm. Yeah, so they do. I wanted to just hit the elephant in the room and they all saw value. They saw nothing but value in every way, shape, and form. Yeah, Dolly. Yes. I'm sorry, but may I ask a question? How, I think you guys kind of uh, touched on this in some training when you have someone who just refuses to submit on the platform and they want to submit mm-hmm. an offer. Um, traditionally and um they want to make sure that you know they're they're that the the seller received their offer mm-hmm. how did you guys resolve that you you have to submit so the it. way that i resolve it the first thing is is the seller go to the seller that's right you told them to call you you call you when the bidding finished and if it went over and then 
the seller, I always get the seller to tell me to post it on the site, the offer. So I will post it for them. And before I post it, I'll call the agent up and say, hey, here's the deal. You want in on this thing? Seller said to post it on the site. You don't want those terms, then take your offer back. And this yeah. is, in, in today's world, this isn't happening anymore. This is back like nine years ago when it was brand new. Yeah, I would always have an agent or two try to scam the system, watch what it closed for, and then write it for more. They don't understand that the buyer's premium was getting added to the top of it. Right. Oh. And my sellers, <laughs> believe it or not, just like this guy, it's funny. We weren't real pleased that we only got four offers on this home. We thought, oh, my God, the seller's, uh, he, his son's an engineer. He's an accountant. He's going to want more money. And we were watching this. He's in Maine. We were watching this together on Zoom for the last 15 minutes. His exact words when the offer even ended, the market has spoken. Mm -hmm. He had yeah. neighbors calling him, telling him, like, oh, my God, you can't believe all the people that are looking at your home. Yeah. Have things sitting. And, I, and, and when things we, are sitting for 90, 100, 200 days. Mm -hmm. When he went to do the listing agreement, we told him, look, stuff is sitting, so be prepared. And we show him days on mm -hmm. Monday. Right. You know, it's sitting. Mm -hmm. So if stuff's sitting, they're still paying a mortgage payment. And that's coming out of their bottom line as the house is sitting there. But when you can get 100 buyers in there, guess what? It don't sit very long. Yeah. <laughs> True. True. One thing that I was just thinking about this, this kind of like a live, almost like an auction site is that, you know, when we're working with these families in probate, there's a lot of, a lot of sibling rivalry going on and disinherited people, but, you know, they can actually see the offers coming in, the bids coming in, you know, and I like that so that they don't think that the, that the other person's lying, the siblings are lying to them about the prices that are coming in. So we're, we're moving everything over to the other site. Mm -hmm. This morning, she gave us some links, and I, I saved them, but I can't find them. Right, right, okay, but it is available. Yeah, let me see here. Yeah, see. Oh, here we go. They're right here. Well, hallelujah. Look at that. Then all you got to do, is you decide on one that you want, and she tells you what it's for, and you can go into the Canva template, edit template. And you can put your name and number on this stuff if you want to. But just know it's going to change, and I would highly recommend you do the new one. Okay. There's more content coming. I'll check mine. I heard something come through. Yep, it is there. All right, you guys. Awesome. But I, you can see there's just tons of information. Mm -hmm. And more and more and more and more is coming. Great. So, I love that. Got a nice clean look to it. Glass, glad we uh, found out where it is. So, anyway, yeah. anything else I can do for you guys? No, thank you for your time. All right, Melanie, yeah, thank you so much. Hop on board with us, I think you'll love it. Yeah, maybe I'll just give you a quick call. Are you available this afternoon? I'm always available. Sure. Okay, I'll give you a quick shout after this if you got a couple minutes. Just a couple questions. You got it. Okay. All right. Sarah. Thank, Thank you, you Sarah. For Thank coming you. Out. Nice to meet you, Sarah. Bye, guys. All right. We'll see you guys. Bye. Thank you so much.